This is the Serengeti as never seen before. Viewed through the eyes of East African guides Richard Knocker and John Vikivuyu, award-winning wildlife photographer Paul Joynson Hicks and inspirational filmmaker Eliza Powell. For the first time in decades, this extraordinary wilderness stands almost empty, a unique but bittersweet time to be here. Over eight days, they'll be bringing you a rare glimpse of the Serengeti and all its inhabitants in a visual diary. We hope this encourages you on your own Serengeti safari, so together we can continue to conserve this precious wilderness. great scene going on here with hyenas all over a, a wildebeest killed very very fresh um, they just killed this morning um, we don't know who did this um, most likely it was the hyenas of course they're wonderful predators in their own right despite this reputation they have for being scavengers and very often the other better known predators like particularly lion will scavenge from the from the hyenas they see him using his carnassial teeth there they see the one on the left using his cheek teeth they work like a pair of shears, a pair of scissors, work against each other. See how brave these jackals are getting in close like this. That jackal's got a piece, did you see that? Lucky him. Tug of war back there with the jackals, isn't there? Is it the rumen or part of the intestines? I'm not sure, but how they managed to get that without everybody... <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I feel at this point, Richard, the whole hmm. dynamic has changed yeah. and the vultures have surrounded the hyena. Look. Yeah, absolutely. So it's got, because it's down to one individual, he can chase, as soon as he chases some off, the others rush in the other way. We had a good morning. Uh, it started quite a little bit slow, but uh, suddenly we got excitement of a leopard. I saw this leopard walking through the what sort of bushes we call it croton, and um, she was just standing looking at the certain direction. And suddenly I saw a little small tail flipping up, and that's why she had cubs. So we followed her. There, here they come! Here they come! Here, look, 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 look. I'm staying with the cub. Where's the cub come? And then eventually she hid the cubs somewhere in the thicket. And then she ran back. Well, there was another leopard which we didn't see. It happened that to be a male. Okay, so what we think is happening here is this male leopard has come in and she, this female, is chasing him away. Because she doesn't want him to come near her cubs. Because if he's not the father of the cubs, he will kill them. He knows their cubs are around somewhere. So we followed her for a while and then we are somewhere here right now waiting to see if she can come back and go to her cubs.
That's his third kill in about three minutes. Just kill him because it can. Classic opportunistic kill. Um, Jummy, Jummy, crocodile, crocodile. This wildebeest is just standing in the water. There's a croc head just to the left of him. The croc already lunged at it and missed for whatever reason. I think these crocs are full. So this guy's already taken down three young wildebeest. Oh, hang on, what's going on there? Uh, that's interesting. Yeah, so this idea that male lions are not good hunters, well, forget that. I mean, three wildebeest in, what, three, four minutes? He's, uh, and mind you, it's like shooting fish in a barrel, isn't it? Uh, look at this, look at this. You see her switching the tail? She, you know, I think she's in estrus. Look at the way they're circling each other. This is fascinating. Yeah, that's a very distinctive behavior, that flirting the tail. And now he's following her very closely. I think that's probably right, probably an estrus. Whoa, whoa, wow, look at that. Oh, claws out. Did you see that? That's, God, you wouldn't want to be hit in the face with that, would you? Oh, you, oh. Now, what's good? This is really strange behavior. This is really weird. Um, okay, I think she probably is an estrus, maybe a younger female. This is probably a newcomer. He, he looks quite young, doesn't he? Um, and so she's probably very wary of him. Uh, this, this is weird. Um, I've only ever seen this a couple of times before. Amazing. And you see him spraying, marking his territory there. Okay, so here we are at this kill. You can see it's very much finished now, isn't it? There's nothing left. Amazing thing is this is the same kill we were at this morning, which was what, two and a half hours ago, and it's been stripped clean. Remember all the vultures all over this? When we first got here, these ribs were well covered with meat. There was lots in here. Um, it's been stripped. There's just these lower legs um, left here. So do you remember earlier on we saw those hyenas um, getting in here and I kept on talking about the carnassial teeth, the shearing cheek teeth. Just have a look at the edge of this skin here. Ooh, it's still lovely and soft and yucky, all covered in hyena spit. Do you see how neatly that's been cut? Can you see that? That would be, that's a human with a pair of shears, isn't it? And yet this was a hyena with his teeth. Remember that thing is using his cheek teeth to do that. That's exactly what I was talking about. Okay, so, photo tip for today. As you can see, it's raining this evening, this afternoon. So, my tip for you, when you're on safari and it's raining, put the camera down and pick up a gin and tonic. Cheers all, have a great day, bye.